In news from Nepal, Nepal urgently needs at least 1.6 million AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine doses to administer second shots as the Himalayan country is recording a surge in new coronavirus cases. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli on Monday urged foreign donors to supply vaccines and critical care medicines to prevent a collapse of the small country's cracky health infrastructure. Nepal's Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli in an address to the nation on Monday said the second wave of COVID-19 has severely hit the country with an increased number of infected people and mortality rate and urged international organizations to help the nation with vaccines and other relief supplies to combat the pandemic. The new wave of coronavirus infections, which has spilled across Indian border into Nepal, has seen a shortage of hospital beds and medical supplies across the Himalayan nation. Oli said the government has decided to suspend domestic air services from the midnight of 3 till 14 May, while international air services operating between Kathmandu and other countries will shut down from 6 to 14 May, as the country tightened the prohibitory orders amid spike in the coronavirus cases. Kathmandu on last Thursday and forced a 15-day lockdown, hoping to curb infections. Since we are living in an interconnected and interlinked world, pandemic like this spares no one and no one is safe. It is in this vein I would like to request our neighbours, friendly countries and international organisations to help us with vaccines, diagnostic equipment and kits, oxygen therapy, critical care medicines and critical care furniture to support our ongoing efforts to combat the pandemic. Meanwhile, residents in Nepal's capital of Kathmandu have been forced to cremate bodies of COVID-19 victims out in the open on Monday as cremation space at temples and crematoriums ran out amid raging coronavirus cases. On Monday, the country's health ministry reported 7,137 new infections. The country has recorded a total number of 343,418 cases and 3,362 deaths, as per health ministry data.